Good day everyone and thanks for tuning in. My Queensland adventure continues in this episode. So let's start our journey and boy, I cannot wait to get out of this horrible weather in Cairns. We begin our video at the domestic terminal of Cairns International Airport. G'day everyone and welcome back to another one of my trip reports and I'm coming to you from a very wet and miserable Cairns International Airport. I'm here at the domestic terminal at Cairns because today I'm joining Regional Express Airlines to make my way up north to Barmaga in Cape York where I will be uh, spending a few days up there exploring the sites over there. So I cannot wait because I've heard so much about Cape York. I've heard about how beautiful that place is. So I really cannot wait to get there to see what's going on. Anyway, I need to go check in and get out of this terrible, terrible weather. So let's go. I'll see you at check-in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Ryan. And I'm glad you're with me today to discover this beautiful state of Queensland. Speaking of discovery, this video is really a continuation of a journey which started in Adelaide a few days ago, resulting in me ending up on two epic milk runs with Rex before arriving in Cairns yesterday. I recommend you check those videos out. Links can be found in the description below. So the trip continues further north and if you do not wish to miss out on the episodes coming up, hit the subscribe button and bell icon to keep informed of my progress. Giving me a like will surely encourage me to do more videos like this one. Of course, your support is very much appreciated. Welcome to Cairns Airport. For a city of this size, the airport sees a staggering amount of air traffic. In 2019, it was Australia's seventh busiest, serving almost 5 million passenger movements. Bearing in mind, the population in Cairns is just over 153,000 people. This underlines the region's importance as a tourist destination. COVID-19 saw the end of international flights, but Cairns used to play host to the likes of Singapore Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Silk Air and Malaysia Airlines. Cairns is presently preparing for the return of Singapore Airlines as we speak. After 18 months of construction, the airport unveiled this newly refurbished and extended portion of Terminal 2 in August 2020. It is one of the better looking airports in Australia. But guys, what the hell happened to the famous sunshine this state is so famous for? For all the images of a tropical paradise glossy brochures make cans out to be, there is a serious lack of natural lighting in here. In fact, once air sight, you won't get a single bit of it unless you head upstairs to the Qantas Club. I suppose the vampires from Twilight will be very happy. Cairns Airport is home to a number of regional airlines using turboprop aircraft, fanning out to destinations all around Queensland. They all utilize gates 14 to 16, as these are remote gates which requires a lot of walking. We are boarding today from gate 14. We're then ushered into colored lanes to wait for an escort to our aircraft. It feels a bit like a train station, hey? With the rain easing a fair bit and a gentle breeze blowing, this walk came accompanied by some fantastic views of the tarmac. If I wasn't in such a hurry to get to Barmaga, I honestly didn't want this walk to end because this is extremely therapeutic. Am I alone in this? I say hello to an old friend. Zulu Lima Victor is the same aircraft which brought me here yesterday from Mount Isa on that milk run via the Gulf. Have you checked out that video yet? I'll leave a link in the description.
Welcome back on board this Saab 340. 30 inches of seat pitch with a fold-down tray table. There isn't any recline buttons, but the seats are ergonomic enough to be comfy, despite not being able to recline. The width is also slightly over 18 inches, which makes it better than the seats on Qantas Lynx Dash 8. There's an overhead reading lamp and a coal bell, plus individual air nozzles, which is useful for humid days like today. Taking off from runway 15, we take a left turn after airborne, heading over the Coral Sea, giving those on the port side a vantage view of Cairns Airport and the surrounds. On our flight up north, we would skirt the beautiful coastline flying over towns like Cooktown and Lockhart River. And then, we would arrive at the Australian continent's northernmost airport in Barmaga, clocking a distance of 774 kilometres and a flight time of 1 hour 45 minutes, making this one of the longest flights in this airline's network. For a flight of this length, needless to say, service delivery was extremely leisurely. No one was in a rush to get anywhere, and there was just this relaxed feel in the cabin topped off by a friendly smile from the lone flight attendant catering to our needs. 
coffee, tea, and water were provided, together with a sweet or savory snack. Today's options consisted of a snack mix or a lemon yogurt slice. The hostie was nice enough to give me both. Here, I'm lucky enough to get more than a passing glimpse of the Great Barrier Reef. It's the world's largest coral reef and it stretches from up north around Cape York where I'm headed to down south around Rockhampton, stretching a total distance of about 2,300 kilometers. It is truly an incredible sight from here. However, due to warmer ocean temperatures, the reef had experienced several severe bleaching events so these days they look a little pale and not as colorful as before. To say my visit to Cape York touched me, it's an understatement of the century. As we approached Barmaga Airport, I was still oblivious what an impact this visit would make on me. The wet and grey weather in Cairns has now opened up into a beautiful palette of sunshine beautifully balanced with angry dramatic tropical cloud formations. What a stunning approach this is! Into a part of the world like no other. I have to pinch myself that this is still Australia, but it felt like a world away. We always refer to the Northern Territory as Australia's top end, but I reckon what I'm arriving into, this is truly Australia's real top end. This is not just Australia's northernmost township on the continent. I've arrived into the home of the Torres Strait Islanders. I've arrived into paradise.
Sí, ya. Sí, la iré. Bye, bye. Muchas gracias. De nada, hasta la vista. <risa> Yeah, Friday, Friday, yeah. yeah. All right, Friday. see ya, bye. See ya. Hi. And welcome to Bamaga, the Northern Peninsula area, NPA. A lot of names for this place. So there was a, there was a pretty leisurely flight with Wigs. Um, I enjoyed it because uh, I felt that it wasn't rushed like the milk run. So this was um, a little drawn out and it was um, a good experience, a good opportunity for you to um, just sit back, relax and enjoy the view. My goodness, the view of the Queensland coast was just stunning. Um, yeah, so there is a transport to take me to the hotel over there. Uh, by the way, there is no mobile reception here um, in Barmaga unless you are with uh, Telstra. So I suppose it's a, uh, it's a good way for me to detox <laughs> from social media, at least for the entire time that I'm here. I'm, I'm hoping there's Wi-Fi uh, at the hotel, which I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah. yeah, so now I just got to wait for my bags and um, into the hotel transport I go. So uh, thanks for following me on this journey. Um, I'll chuck the details of my Instagram up there so you can uh, give me a follow. So you can follow my travel in real time. And it will also give you an idea of the type of videos that will be coming up on my channel. Okay, and, you've, and if you have not done so, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you know the next time when I embark on another epic trip like this one. All right, so until my next video, I'll see you guys around. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye.